Hello everybody, Geek Etiquette here. Um, this is a vlog that I said I would do on Thursday or Friday um, on Twitter um, about anxiety and, you know, stuff like that. Um, so I do warn you, I'm probably going to ramble and I'm not going to make much sense. I <laughs> can't even speak. I'm not going to make much sense. I've kind of been sat here like re-watching heroes i'm at like near the end of the, i've got one episode left um the first season um but um uh, as i've been sort of watching i've been trying to think in my head how i'm going to approach this and how i'm going to talk about it and i still haven't figured it out it's i've really been struggling um so i guess not i haven't really talked about anything kind of I guess serious um in vlogs and stuff because um I I sort of when I first started making videos I just wanted it to be you know a place where you could you know escape and and if you got any problems that hopefully it can help distract you enough and, and cheer you up and what have you and, and, and just hang out and, you know, with, with, with people and with me um, who enjoy video games and, and the awesome stuff that it can actually do for people. Um, and the, that, that, was, that was the sort of main reason. But the other reason is because that's what, um, aside from absolutely, I, you know, been an avid gamer for for years since since at least four um the age four i it also is my escapism and it's my way of relaxing and and getting away from things and and just being able to go into a completely different world and and you know enjoying it or raging or or what, whatever emotion it throws at you you know it, it's it's a powerful thing to have and i think that we're extremely lucky to be able to um to sort of channel channel that and and be able to 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 play games for all kinds of reasons i know that a lot of a lot of people uh on youtube especially that you know the viewers they look up to a lot of the larger channels and stuff for exactly that reason and you know i wanted to be another person to be able to do that and and give that to you as it has done for me so um, and, and it's not just anxiety, but, you know, other mental health issues, um, like depression, which I, I, you know, I've, I've had a, a, an experience with that. And I, you know, I didn't want to kind of, I, I didn't want to be that person that seemed to either like pretend to know what they're talking about or I didn't want to talk about these things with you because you know I didn't think that I would be able to make such an impact um but at the same time I want to be relatable and and just sort of say look I you know this is me this is a part of me that I want you to know about um, but I guess I kind of avoided it just because I didn't think that it would be something that, you know, for me, um, as, as like a sufferer of, of certain things, which I'll talk about, I, I almost thought, well, you know, they, they don't, they don't want to hear that. It's like, like they, that they want you know people want to to watch videos to to get away from that not you know not have some random person online driveling about uh, about stuff and 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 I'm I'm struggling to form words here in sentences just because I don't know really how to approach it um so yeah I didn't want to I just didn't want to seem patronizing or like I'm pretending to know these things or you know I didn't want the kind of like 
I guess I didn't want to seem like I was trying to get sympathy or attention by using sort of like trigger words or, or buzzwords like depression and anxiety because a lot of people, a lot of people suffer and you know, you you watching this now may be one of them. So I, I didn't want to, I don't know, I, I just, just kind of didn't really feel the need to talk about it or to kind of tell you but at the same time now I think about it I don't want to hide these aspects like I don't want to I don't, or rather I don't want to seem like I'm hiding it um, and just just to make you aware that I, I I'm a person too that doesn't just make gaming videos um, that there, there's more to me if, if you I guess if you care I, I don't know I don't know how to put this um, but yeah, so I I do suffer from anxiety um, and like social anxiety, um, which kind of sounds weird when you're doing YouTube. And it, <laughs> it's funny because I always think uh, whenever I say that, people are going to think, well, you make videos for potentially millions of people to see. I'm not saying millions of people do watch, but potentially, you know, lots of people could be watching your videos and trying to interact with you and you know if, if things if things blew up um, and you end up being one of the the larger channels then you'd be doing things like meetups and panels and I mean I'm thinking way way ahead here but and the likelihood of it happening is pretty slim but I'm okay with that anyway um point is like it, it sounds kind of contradictory and I as I say you know uh, uh, I've got so many different reasons as to why I make content some of it I feel is a bit selfish in a sense that making content helps me grow and gives me more confidence in myself for set you know certain situations and social aspects of, of things and you know I, I get to talk to like-minded people and you know I end up meeting like meeting people through gaming that end up being like my partner and stuff so it's it's kind of it's kind of incredible what it can do for you um oh it's such a big smile on my face now thinking about it but so yeah I uh, where was I going with that? Th that was the kind of, I guess, what I feel is a bit selfish in a sense that, you know, it's 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 to benefit me, but I also wanted the effect of that benefit to help you in the same way. So it's kind of like, not biting the hand that feeds, but it's kind of, I'm helping you to help me and fight it like I, I don't know how to explain it properly I really don't but yeah so um anxiety got the best of me this week um for a potential job and I basically from the moment I was walking like the first day was great so I was trialing out a, a job at like a, a takeaway place a fish and chip shop and the first the first day was great you know I, I was getting into it I was feeling it I was confident yeah okay I couldn't learn everything in in, in space of four hours or what have you um, but I was excited I was excited to learn and you know I wanted to use it as a, as a prospect for um, for other things and, and to get a bit of money of course and then Thursday it just went downhill and it did from the start like the moment I woke up uh, up until you know I got there and beyond I was just so anxious and it, it just wasn't a good day like I was slow I was nervous I was clearly nervous and I let it get the better of me and I you know as I was walking to walking down because it's only 10 minutes it's local and as I was on my way there you know I just I had this horrible sinking feeling and it was just building up and building up and I I almost turned turned like back to head home a few times 
Um, I almost didn't do it. Like, I, I couldn't. Um, and that's one of the sort of issues with it is it gets in your way of doing like normal things. I, I'm, I've always been jealous of people like teenagers, you know, who've just gone out of school when they go into like a, 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 a waitressing job or, you know, a, a working at a supermarket or, or grocery store or whatever. And and I'm jealous because they they can just they just do it, you know? Like they learn the job and they just get on with it. And I'm and I'm thinking like how can you how do you do that? Like I I I don't know. It just feels like if you if it's something simple, if I'm only doing like the same thing or like I have a routine or if I get taught like a few different a few small things, like nothing, not a load of stuff, like a menu or what have you, um, then I'm, I'm absolutely fine. Like my, my last job, the face painting one, I love that, you know, I knew what I was doing and I just went in and I just did it. And even if there was the odd like request or something, like the, the last day I did a, a Sonic the Hedgehog and I was so pleased with that. Like I'd, I'd been wanting to kind of experiment and do new things, but on my last day I, I got to do a Sonic the Hedgehog face paint and it was amazing. I loved it. Um, and you know, it, it, even though that was, it wasn't on the, on, in my routine, it was, I, I had the kind of the base skill set to do it so I could and, and I really enjoyed it I really enjoyed it so give me a mundane mundane job you know repetitive whatever I'm absolutely fine I'm I'm happy as Larry like give me a warehouse job and you know if I'm just doing the same thing over and over again yeah it gets boring but I get paid for it and I'm happy and I can just get on with it and learn to get quicker and you know improve as you do um, but give me like a normal job and I just buckle and I dread it and I get scared and well not so much scared but I get nervous to the point where I've been physically sick before going into work um, in these kinds of situations and um, I, I just I just I feel like I just can't do it and then for some reason it, it I feel like it comes across as an excuse it's like oh like because I am lazy and you know people that know me quite well they know that I'm lazy um, you know family and like close friends like I'll openly admit I am but when I need to say get up or or what have you when I need to not be lazy then I, I will do it especially if there's money involved so it's not so much that but you know just doing an ordinary thing like working in a restaurant or a cafe or a coffee shop and it's not simple to me it really isn't and I don't know I can't put my finger on it I can't explain it and it does I feel like it does seem like an excuse but it's not it's not an excuse I I, I just can't do it um, and it just stresses me out and it gets me down um, and it knocks my confidence a lot even it, even when I try like I've tried to work in a cafe I tried to work in a chip shop and as soon as you know it got too much then I would just I would just find somewhere to hide I would like go to the toilet um, and not actually go to the toilet I would just go in there just and I'm trying to find as many excuses as possible to not be, you know, in the firing line as such or to actually do my job. Um, other times, the social aspect, it's... Um, fortunately, it's only few, it's few and far between that it gets me, but um, there was one time when I was in a shopping mall and it was a busy... I think it was, must have been like a weekend, a Saturday... Uh, which are usually the busiest days and um, you know there was barely like 
I, I get flustered if I have to like weave in and out of people and you know people get in my way and uh, if I'm with a group of friends then and, and uh, like I end up like falling behind or what have you then I start to panic and I start to worry and and I just I just need to get out of there I need to breathe um, and that happened again recently uh, like that was years ago when when that uh, shopping mall incident happened but recently it happened again while I was away and I went to a LARP or a live action role play and I was I was really I was quite excited because I you know I'd made this character and I was really excited to try and like portray it and you know to act I guess um, and I was looking forward to it but as we were heading there it started to build up again and I started to you know think trying to imagine what it was going to be like and you know there was a lot of information to take in which you know is natural um, and I was I was you know obviously a newbie and what have you so I was like it, it just built up and then as I was going through the doors on the way to to like the area that that it it was going to start the game was going to start and i i just i just i almost like froze and then i i just like i couldn't I, and i just stood there and i just started to cry and i was just like i need i need to you know uh, I, I need to get out of here kind of thing so i got taken to a quiet place like i was i was with bane and um and, and I just, I, I was just trying to breathe and trying not to think about it and just trying to, you know, to gather myself. Um, and, and you know, he, he was he was trying to comfort me as best as he could and he just couldn't, like, and, and I, I felt, I, I felt really bad as well because, like, I can only imagine uh, what it was like what it's like for the people that are trying to help you um when that happens like um you know he he was trying to comfort me and it just wasn't working and it, you know you f you just feel like i'm sorry like i wish there was something that you could do but i don't know what it is and i, I don't know how to tell you um and you know eventually i calmed down but once i started um, I couldn't stop like and it was just once I, I did eventually stop and the game actually started and I was just like right okay um, I'm I just I just want to watch and see you know how it works and then once that was that was sorted then because you know I obviously wasn't forced to, to play or anything and you know it was it was totally optional and and it would have been it would have been fun um and once once i i was sort of okay and i wasn't playing and i knew that i wasn't going to have to do anything or cuz I, I i guess i i kind of thought that like all eyes would be on me and you know there'd be a lot of attention and stuff um and i i knew i knew some of the people there too and and i they, you know, they're absolutely lovely people, and it wasn't that I felt uncomfortable, but I just, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. But once, once I calmed down, and you know, then I was, I was fine, I was fine, and then we all went out afterwards um, to get some some late night food, and I was, I was normal, you know, I was, I was socialising, I was joining in conversations, and. You know, and and having a laugh and stuff, and 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 it, it was perfectly fine. And I managed to do that all the other times because I, I I don't I haven't done that very often. Like I'm not really a social butterfly in that sense. So it was a completely completely the opposite, you know, environment to what I'm used to. And yet I was fine after that. So I don't know why it happens or when i think i think what it boils down to is if i don't know something if something's completely new to me then I, I i get nervous and i ask a lot of questions and 
and I, you know, I, I, I ask a lot of, I guess, silly questions, um, and I, I, I guess I don't want to look stupid if I keep repeating myself or, or what have you. I, I don't know, but I think it's if I don't know something, then I get nervous, and and that's when I start to worry and I start to panic. Um, so yeah, it's 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 frustrating because you don't know when it's gonna I, like I don't know personally when it's gonna happen um, and it's just out of the blue I mean I'm not as bad as a lot of people I know that there was there was at one point where I was agoraphobic and um, I was living on my own and I would only go out to get food and, and groceries um, later on in the day when everything was closing because then obviously it wasn't so busy um, and that was also during the time where I was first diagnosed with depression um, so I had like I'd hit rock bottom I, I went into the doctors you know after like I, I was going downhill uh, up until that point and then the night before I just that was it I just knew like there was something wrong and um, yeah I was, I was just doing things that were completely out of character completely uh, it just wasn't me so I, I went to the doctors the next day and you know I, I at first I just sat there and I didn't say anything and I could feel it building up like this kind of like release and um, you know I, I just broke down and I said I, I'm I'm not me it like I'm doing things and I'm not it this isn't me I, I don't know what's what's wrong I, I don't know why but I just don't feel like myself and uh, you know I, I, I don't want to I don't want to hurt anybody and and I, I was I was I was in a stressful environment like you know my relationship at the time wasn't going so great um it was it was it was at that point it was the beginning of the end anyway which probably didn't help um work was okay but again it was stressful i was working in a call center um for a bank um and uh, you know but i was i was managing i was doing it i i kind of got was getting that feeling of dread but i was i was dealing you know i was i was adulting um but yeah, I, I went in and, you know, they did the, the question, they did like a questionnaire, a multiple choice, and then depending on your score depends on, I guess, the severity of it. Um, now, I'm very fortunate in a sense that I don't, I don't suffer with anxiety that often anymore. And the depression side, that um that took just over six months for me to sort of get back to, to be, get back to me um and that was after you know some like therapy or counseling um that was um getting out of the environment i was in i took six months off work and um i I, you know, was on different medication and stuff as well. So I did, I, I, I did. I went on to medication, which a lot of people don't like to do, and I wasn't keen on it, but it did help. Once I found the right one for me, it helped. Um, and so yeah, I just, I just worked, worked through it, and you know, fortunately, I, I, I was, I was in a lot of better place, and I, I don't. I, I'm just lucky because a lot of people go back to it and you know and and have really good days and really bad days and um, and what have you and and you know I'm I am in I'm in a great place like I've you know mentally I'm not I, I'm 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 good you know like I don't think I have to worry about going back there but I, I've been there and I know that I wasn't as severe as a lot of people like I wasn't I, w I didn't have any like no that's I was gonna say I didn't have any 
No, I, I, di I had, there was, um, after that, after I was better, there was only one other time where I hit a low again. And I, I wasn't, I, I, I guess I did have, um, I guess I did have suicidal thoughts. But they were just thoughts, like, I would never take action on it, and it was, it was more, it was more that, like, I would, I would it was more curio curiosity than anything, like, hypotheticals than actually wanting to do anything about it. Um, I, uh, like, I, I would, I would, t I would walk, um, I would I'd go for walks to try and sort of clear my head or what have you and then I would like look over like a bridge uh, over a motorway or a highway um, depending on where you're from and I'd like sort of sort of think I wonder wonder what would what would happen if like I went over there like um, and the, the I think the the most frequent thought I had was I wonder what it'd be like if um, if I was invisible and if you know if I could I just make everybody forget like I was there and just literally just go invisible wow I you know I haven't really talked about this in in years and um, I didn't expect I didn't expect to get like this actually um, and I, I, uh, wow, I, uh, I wanted to use this opportunity, like, YouTube and Twitch, to to like help anybody that was in the same position or, or worse than what I was because I as I say you know I, after a lot of hard work um I'm in a far and a lot of support from family and friends and things you know I mean I'm in so much of a better place now and and I, uh, I'm sorry for getting like really deep. Like I didn't want to do this. Like I didn't want to, to get to this point. Um, but uh, I think I, uh, I, I, as I say, I just, I just want to, even if it's just a small thing, just making videos. Even if, like, I don't, I don't want the quote unquote fame because as I say I don't think the social side of me could handle it um but um I I, ju I just want to know that like that I'm I, I can do something for people uh, I, I can do I can do something that um that like YouTube and stuff because I, I used to watch YouTube videos and things and a lot of a lot of the larger channels you know people look up to and and stuff and I can totally understand why you know how it helps helps people um, because in some respects it helped me and if it wasn't if it wasn't for like making videos and things then I wouldn't have met some of the most amazing people that I have done and I wouldn't be with like an amazing person um, so, you know, I've got a lot to give back because of that, and I, I want to have that opportunity for other people. Um, because I can, because I can, you know, I, I can, I can only try, and that's what I want to do. So, um, so yeah, I've kind of gone off, um, gone off a bit. I apologise that I kind of got a bit emotional. Um, as I say, I don't, I don't really reveal that kind of personal side uh, of me, and I didn't think there would be a reason to. Like, I wanted to keep 
some of my personal life separate as much as possible but at the same time then I think to myself well you know it I, I just I, I guess I just wanted to talk about those things to you know because uh, I know that sometimes in in like comment sections and if I, if I've touched on a certain subject and or if somebody says like oh you know I've been going through a bad time with with this and and that and then I say like oh yeah I know the feeling and I don't I don't want to come across as like patronizing or as if like I I didn't you know I'm just saying that just for the sake of saying it because it's not like I wanted to show that okay everybody's experiences with with mental health is different but um I wanted to show that I do have some level of understanding um <laughs> So yeah, anyway, um, I, I don't know really what the point of this is, I, I guess I just wanted to talk about it, but I um, I do apologise and, um, you know, we're going we're gonna to have normal vlogs and stuff from here on out and um, I guess I will see you awesome chums in the next video or stream tomorrow, I'm not sure, but either way, I'll uh, see you awesome chums next time. Bye!